Hey, this is Ben Silverio with That Hashtag Show, and I am here with AEW superstar Orange Cassidy. Hello. Welcome, sir. This microphone is so appropriate for me. I think this is perfect. <laughs> So uh, yesterday at the panel, it was kind of nuts, but you kept your cool. You're a pretty good moderator, I think. Well, I appreciate that. We had time left over and they were like, okay, we're done. I'm like, no, like <laughs> we have 15 minutes left. Let's get some Q and A's out there. And we did them. And you answered some really well, even if Tony didn't want you to. <laughs> that is true. It's very, very true. Uh, by the way, huge pop for Time Cop. I cannot believe. <laughs> he mentions it every single time we do a, a, a show. He loves that movie. I don't, and I don't think half the people, no, not even, I think more than 75% of the people don't even know what that movie is. 100%. Uh, but, you know. You're a fan of it, though? You like that movie? Classic yeah, That movie is very, very good. So I see here you have your trademark backpack. Yes, I have my backpack because, and Willow has been nice enough to let me carry it around because it makes you feel like the old days having a championship in my backpack sure but i have the adult swim aew battle for the booty championship that willow and i won yesterday at the adult swim versus aew battle of the booty tournament there's so many words i have to say for this thing um wish i could just say international again um and uh it, it was wild i punched mr frog in the face and then buff rick and buff summer come came and save us I'm saying words to people that only watch Adult Swim would know. So I understand that if you, I, I said all these things, you're like, what is he talking about? If you watch Adult Swim, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, you know, throughout your career, I feel like you've been misunderstood by a lot of fans and a lot of, you know, critics. But you have proven time and again that you can rise to the occasion. How does it feel for you when you get to prove those critics wrong? Uh, I think misunderstood is probably... I understand that that term, but I think people understood me correctly. I think it's like, oh, I, I you take me as I am. Mm -hmm. uh, I showed you what I want to show you. So, yeah, of course, you got opinions on what I show you. Uh, and it was up to, uh, I mean, that was part of my, my plan, right? It's like just deception and uh, I guess misunderstood. That's interesting. No one's ever phrased it like that. So that's why I'm kind of like, taken off guard thinking of it because yeah probably misunderstood you know what? i'm gonna spend the rest of the day thinking about this question is that all right <laughs> absolutely all right. that's great because i remember i used to see you in chikara and all around the indies in philly and when you signed with AEW, i was so stoked and people were just, were just like what is this guy doing yeah and i'm just like no just wait and then i think it was around your match with jericho that everyone finally started to see what you were about so you've gotten to work with a ton of great legends at this point. Yeah. Did you ever think you'd get to work with like the Chris Jericho's of the world and things like that? Uh, no, not, no, not even at all. Not even close. Uh, you know, I, I was jumping out of cakes and hiding in bathrooms and hiding under rings and dressing up like turkeys. And then I'm wrestling Chris Jericho and then I'm punching him into a big giant pool of mimosa. <laughs> like it's a very weird i've had a very i've had a very eclectic career here at aw mm -hmm. so far absolutely well you know uh going back to chikara one more time you know there are a ton of chikara alum in aew on the roster you know but there are so many other people that wrestled in chikara that are extremely talented are there any that you hope will join you in aew sometime soon uh, you know, Hollow Wicked is always one of those guys that uh, I think Hollow Wicked, you know, is one of the best wrestlers to ever that I've ever wrestled. Yeah. Um, Ultramate is black. It's also a very unique character. But that's the thing. It's like Chikara was known for this over the top type of character driven style. Um, but I think people are starting to come around to that. And I think these guys would fit right in anywhere. Um, there's so many people in Chikara would, but most of them are here. So yeah, it's true. I mean, you got you, Eddie Kingston, you know, Dalton Castle had his run in Chikara. So many great people. I mean, Bryce Remsburg. Well, I mean, Bryce is the unsung hero of Chikara and also the unsung hero of AEW. He does so much. Not only referee all the the hardest matches, 
he also has to get every time he wrestles an MJF match. Uh, he wrestles, jeez. <laughs> every time he refs an MJF match, I feel like he gets beat up more and more. The Canadian Destroyer, who does that? Uh, yeah, no, Bryce is a uh, Bryce, and I've been very fortunate to have my entire career. Bryce has been there, uh, um, you know, helping me along the way, and he's still helping me now to to this day. So I'm very grateful for Bryce Renberg. Oh, he's phenomenal. Uh, so one thing I've learned from my years on this earth is that as you grow up, making friends is difficult. And you <laughs> recently had friend trouble, but you now have some new friends like the conglomeration, Willow Night Nightingale. What is your secret to making friends in later stages in life? My secret is finding a bunch of people that are in the same situation that you are and then getting together and dealing with it together. Mm. And I think there's a lot of times where we feel that we're... Uh, isolated and alone but if you really look around and ask around there are the people that feel the same way that you do and that you can all band together and become friends the conglomeration is all about that there are people that have been going through the same stuff that I've been going through uh, maybe sometimes even worse and we all get together and it's like Willow Kyle O'Reilly uh, Mark Briscoe and Tomo Harishi you know we all we're all going through the same kind of things that are in our lives right now so we band together and we're pretty and those guys are way tougher than me so of course i'm gonna hang out with them have you seen mark briscoe oh my god he's crazy kyle will that. kick your chest in i'm you know let those guys do all that that's great <laughs> so speaking of brutal people at all in london last year you were in a really like bloody brutal match but like let the tough guys handle that. What are you looking to do this year in Wembley? Hopefully not that again. <laughs> I hope that no one comes after me and wants to challenge me in a match where I get stabbed in the head with a fork. That's the thing I never want to do again. Um, I, don't, I, really, I really don't know what's going on with Wembley this year. Uh, for me, um, I do know there's a little... That, there are some opportunities out there that I think are coming up, but I, you know, I really don't know. Uh, but I will be there. I will be there. That's awesome. So speaking of places you may or may not be, well, at the panel, you did talk about some Warner Brothers movies, and you have expressed your fandom for Fast and the Furious. Yes. So with this company synergy, do you think that we could get Orange Cassidy on the big screen in a big Warner Brothers Discovery production? Yeah, that would be great. Get me in there. I don't know what's I don't know what's taking everybody so long. I made it, I'm not being shy about it. Like, put me in something. I don't care. I'll just stand there in the background. I'll be a, I'll be an extra. Make me an Easter egg in all these movies. I'll just hide in the background. And then, oh, did you see where Orange Cassidy was in that one scene? If you freeze it right here, like, yeah, that's what I want. I mean, they're filming Superman right now. James Gunn can totally put you in that. James Gunn's really good too, right? Yeah, he's awesome. I, you know. I'm looking forward to the new DC stuff with him. Absolutely. Are you upset that Fast and the Furious is coming to an end, supposedly? Um, never say never, but I do feel that we, they've told one heck of a story. Uh, uh, dare I say, a tale for the, for the ages. And sometimes a great story needs an end. So I'm looking forward to how they wrap this up. Well, with Fast and the Furious coming to an end, AEW is just at their beginning. You know, we're celebrating a huge milestone this year for AEW. There's so much that the company has accomplished and everyone in the company as well. So what do you see for AEW and Orange Cassidy from this point forward? Uh, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> well, I mean, I think that's as good a place to end as any, because Orange Cassidy has stuff to do. Maybe. <laughs> maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just might sit out here longer and get a little suntan. Hell yeah. Well, thanks for tuning into that hashtag show. Stay tuned for more awesome interviews.